I'm here with the weekly um, tarot scope for the week of February, pardon me, March, it's now March, March the 5th to the 11th of 2018. Um, for the month of March, I am using the Sicoli Tarot, Sicoli Tarot. I'm also using the Oracle of the Shapeshifters as well. So if you're interested in, I do daily draws during the week with these two decks. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram or on Facebook to find those. But um, yeah, let's do the draws for the week. So let's start with Aries. Aries, we have the Five of Wands reversed. So Aries, there's um, a couple of planets that are moving into your sign this week. Um, so you're definitely going to be feeling energized. But it's saying not to let that energy turn into things like quarrels and misunderstandings. To not let that energy turn into um, aggression. And it says that there's a lot of excess energy going around. So it's best to use it in things like exercise or putting it towards, you know, maybe some projects that you need to do as opposed, because if you don't, it's just going to come out, come out in like quarrels and also quarrels, 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 whatever, uh, fighting. <laughs> it's going to come out and fighting and arguing with people. So don't do that. And also if you kind of hear something from someone that doesn't sound quite right, like if somebody gives you an offer and it sounds a bit sketchy, this card also warns to pay attention to your intuition for that. Um, for Taurus, we have the Nine of Swords reversed. What is the home there? Uh, Nine of Swords reversed. So there we go. Got this little bunny here. So uh, Taurus, it looks like some of your fears are running away from you this week. It looks like um, you're letting things become bigger than they are. Maybe, you know, if you, especially if you have things like um, depression or anxiety, they might be getting a little bit... Um, kind of ramping up this week so it says to take you know some extra extra care of yourself but also it's good to talk about some of these fears with people because you might realize that they're you know maybe not as big as you thought they were so um, don't just keep it to yourself and uh, make sure to take care of yourself this week Are these all upside down no okay they just happen to be upside down these ones um, so here we have uh, number 11 which I'm pretty sure in this deck is strength. I think they have the um, the cards reversed. Um, well, from the Rider Waite system anyway. So what I would say uh, for Gemini this week is this is a week where you're really going to be tackling some of the bigger issues in your life. It's a week where you are going to have to be patient with yourself and with others. It's also a week where it's asking you... Um, to look at the long haul, to look at what you want for the long term and put some energy towards that. And it's saying it's going to take time. It's not going to all happen overnight. So, you know, again, be kind to yourself, pace yourself, take care. And it says too, with it being reversed, that you might be feeling overwhelmed and just like you can't go on. It's okay to take a break sometimes. It's okay to take a rest, Gemini. For Cancer, we have uh, the Six of Wands reversed. So Cancer, it's a good week for you. You're going to hear some good news. Um, it's going to be a week where you feel like you're getting that pat on the back. It's not going to be this giant thing. Uh, it's not going to be, it's like your successes are more being acknowledged by you rather than by other people. But it's saying to take the time to celebrate and give yourself the pat on the back for all the hard work that you've done. For Leo, we have uh, the Queen of Wands. And this is a very Leo card, actually. This card is one of my cards because it signifies Leo. So Leos, definitely be yourself this week. That's for sure. It's saying that you're going to be um, somebody that people are really looking to for inspiration. You're someone that's getting out there. It's going to be a very social week for you. It's also a week where your creativity is really flourishing. So make sure you know you take those opportunities that are coming with your creativity. Don't be afraid to shine this week, Leo. For Virgo, we have um, the Knight of Cups. There it is there. Looks very nice. I think, or is it the page? I think it's the page. Anyway, I really like that card. It's pretty cute. But um, this is a week to go after your romantic dreams. This is a week to go after your, um, for Virgos. Anyway, sorry, this is a Virgo card, card for Virgo. Um, it's saying that this is a week to really go after your creative dreams and your romantic dreams. It's a time to daydream too. It's not really a big time, you know, for action in itself, but it says like, don't hold yourself back. Be optimistic. I know as uh, Virgos, you like to, you know, kind of have all the details nailed down. It says you don't always need to do that. Sometimes you just need to dream big. For Libra, we have, uh, we have justice reversed. So Libra, this week may be a week where you hear a decision that's somewhat disappointing to you. And sometimes we 
hear things we don't like or we may want something but the answer is no um, or sometimes things are just plain unfair and not right and we need to kind of heal from that and we need to sit back and lick our wounds a little bit um, you may have already heard something that you don't like so it's saying it's okay to be upset about those things and to take care of yourself this week which seems to be kind of a kind of a message for some of the signs this week about self-care um, for Scorpio, we have the lovers reversed. So Scorpio, this week, you may want to ask yourself how entwined you are with your significant other, if you have one. Um, are you allowing yourself the freedom to be independent or are you completely relying on them all the time to help you make decisions or um, you don't want to be alone? Um, are you using them as a means of avoiding yourself? And for those of you that aren't with someone, are you judging yourself, your self-worth on whether or not you were with a partner? Because it's okay to be by yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. So stop with the self-judgment. Um, but also, if you are with someone, maybe look, you know, how dependent on are you on each other and how independent are you? Uh, you need to find that happy balance. For Sagittarius, uh, we have here the hanged man. Sagittarius, this is a week of waiting. It's not a week of moving forward. I know that you want to move forward, but it's saying that's that's not this week. This week is a time where you just need to really, uh, you need to wait, you need to observe, and you need to look at things a little bit differently. It is a good week to attend to spiritual matters, though. Capricorn, we have the Four of Swords. Oh, I love this card. Capricorn, time to rest. Time to rest. Uh, I know that you like to work, 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 but it's saying not this week. This week, you need to take some time to yourself. You need to, to rest and to sleep. For Aquarius, we have the Two of Pentacles reversed. Aquarius, you are doing too much. You are going to need to drop something this week. You are going to need to say no to something. As much as you want to do everything, uh, you're juggling things, but things are going to fall if you don't say no to something. something. And Pisces, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, Pisces, slow and steady wins the race for you. It is time to get going on things, to get going on those dreams that you have. You love to dream, but now um, a lot of the planets are moving into Aries and it's time to take action. It doesn't have to be big things, small little baby steps towards where you're going. So that's what I'm seeing in the cards for this week. Um, for the Oracle card, we have Snake Princess, the Serpentine Path to Power. So I think when I look at this card, I really think about how um, progress isn't always linear. I know for some of the signs this week, it's talked about how they need to rest or they need to just kind of step back a little bit um, or there may be a disappointment of some kind. And these may seem like setbacks, but progress isn't linear and sometimes we need to take two steps back before we can start to move forward again. For other signs, it is a time to move forward. And sometimes that movement is sideways. Sometimes we go down a path that we didn't think was leading us anywhere, but it takes us on a really interesting side trip or it adds something to our path that we did, wouldn't have had otherwise. So it's, you know, it's saying to be kind to yourself no matter where you are on this path. Uh, you need to know that it's all part of the journey. So that's what I'm getting from the cards this week. As always, if you want your own uh, reading, you can go to my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.